and I feel the spirit. Ten minute break, and then the spirit come right back over me. I'm telling you, this performance is going to be second to none. I have so much love and respect for everybody that's performing today, and this is a, a performance that's taken months of delay to get to. The culmination of so many events in life. Can you imagine what has happened in the world and all that's had to happen for us to reach this point? And the celebration that is going to be this Grammy ceremony is going to be second to none. Nobody has had to go through what we've gone through in this generation. It's, our generation has faced social upheaval. We faced political unrest. We faced a pandemic that's unprecedented. We really have unique challenges in this time, and music is the universal language, and we can celebrate and actually come together and be free and break bondage. The song that I'm doing is Freedom, and it's about breaking all of the bondage that's over your life. You don't, you don't have to be bound. You can be free. You don't have to be bound by depression or, or, or feelings of self-doubt or apathy. You don't have to be overwhelmed by the negativity of the world. You can actually be free. Amidst all that, you can have a fortitude in the chaos. And when you see the joy that we're going to bring, it's an event. It's not a performance. It's, it's an event. It's a spiritual practice. It's something that everybody of all ages around the world can enjoy and feel. So I, I'm really honored to be able to share this and, and, and connect with the people after so much. Well, I think that everybody has so much in them. Our greatest natural resource is the human soul. It's the spirit. There's people in ghettos and inner cities and slums across the world who could be the next Einstein, who could be the next great athlete or great dancer or doctor or anybody who's a world changer could be right next to you and you don't know it. So for me, I believe with all the gifts I've been given, I have to live up to my full potential, which is a lot. I, uh, you only know what you have in you. <laughs> you only know what your fullest potential is. And I know what mine is, so for me, that's a part of my freedom, to fully express, no matter what your vision of me is, whatever where you can marginalize a person is not the actual reality of that person. So this is a time where I think people need that message more than ever, and, and I represent that fully, full body. I, I was nominated for 11 across several different categories, and I think... It, it, it moves me because it was a year where there was a change in the way that things were done in the voting. So you really have your peers and experts in that field are the predominant vote. Um, not to say that before it wasn't valuable or relevant to be nominated, but this year in particular, it's really something that everybody who knows just as well as I do what it takes to do what we do said that this is something that I feel is Grammy worthy. This is something that I feel like is, is it should rise to the top and be seen. So, you know, I just put my head down and work on the craft. I don't worry about awards. I don't worry about things like that. I've never worried about that. I grew up playing music since I was a little boy. And, you know, where I'm from, music is just a part of everyday life. It's, it's a part of the fabric of everyday life. So for me to actually be able to be on stage and travel the world, be on TV, do film scores and do all the things that I've been able to do, and now, you know, to, to have this nomination, really is it drives the point home more that it's about the message that I'm sending and about the feeling. I'm telling you, this music, I can talk all day long, but when you hear this music, <laughs> it's something, it's not me. It's not us. It's something, I really do feel like there was a blessing over this project, and it's flowing through us in a way that is, is paving the way for so much to come. So I, I really do want to invite everybody into this moment. It's truly a special thing, and I think when you listen to it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I had a uh, I had a lot of, of great projects going on at the time. The the film score for Soul was happening. I was working on the Late Show and going back and forth between Soul, the Late Show, a musical that I'm working on that I can't talk about, and a um, an, an album which turned into We Are. And and I had a, incredible collaborators with me coming in and out. Autumn Rowe, Kizzo, a lot of great producers and singers and musicians. Just like a, a train. <laughs> Your train stop was the dressing room, and then you leave, and then somebody else pulls up to the station. Train stop, and, and I'm just working in six days really to build something that was channeled through me. It was something that came in six days, the skeleton of the album. And then over the next nine months, I traveled to different places and, and built the, the album out. So We Are is really a community. 
you know, Jamel McWilliams, the great creative director who put this performance together with me is, is my brother. And the videos are an extension of that. When you watch the video to I Need You, or you watch the video to Freedom, and you see the community element of it, Freedom is literally the whole of New Orleans, just <laughs> walking down the street. You know, that's the kind of stuff that we're doing. We're called to do this. We are about to break bonds. We're gonna break the bondage on people, and people should really feel that right now more than ever. So I, I'm, I'm so honored to be here and talk to you, and uh, I'm glad that we can share this with the world. Oh my goodness, my best piece of advice is be yourself, you will win. Nobody who didn't quit didn't win. So if you keep going and don't quit, you will win. And that's my advice. Take that however you want it. Thank you. I feel like we all get to a point where we want to quit. The, the, you see there's an attack on authenticity and realness. There's an attack. There was an attack from the time we started preparing for this till now. And things try to get in the way of that. But the light is so much brighter than that. There's nothing that can get in the way of it. So even if you feel a dark moment, if you feel in a dark moment right now, don't hold on to that. Just move through it, feel it, and then wake up to a brighter day. Don't worry about where you're at right now. Think about where you will be. And just keep focused on that. And that's it. That's all you have to do. I feel so free from any sort of bondage of, of marginalization or anything that will tamp down my greatness. Nothing will stop me. And that's what you have to think like. That's the only way you can succeed, and, and you have to know that you're enough. Whoever you are, be yourself. You're enough. Be a winner. Don't be afraid to be a winner. We are winners. We are winners. Do you understand? It's the truth. Say it to yourself, and that's it.